Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. Today, everything can be clustered. Yeah, I'm going a bit weird with this one. Pure, quite purely just because everything can in fact be clustered. So let's have a quick look at the skills and equipment of these two builds that Crude and I are currently running in this video. Crude is running two health augments on his Dark Devourer and the customizations are three close range mods. The helmet is Crawter of Beta with Challenger and Attack. Empress Beta Chest with a three attack decorations. Xenogiva Beta with a Challenger. Xenogiva Beta Waste with a flawless and attack. And the Xenogiva Beta Boots with two attack decorations. And then finally an Awakening Charm. The build I am running differs very so slightly, but the armor pieces and the decorations are the exact same. But rather than two health augments, I have a damage augment and a health augment. And as for the customization mods, I am so so partial to using a shield, so I have shield and two close range. This does offer me slightly more damage and a little bit of protection, but I do not heal as much through the use of the clusters so when will you be running clusters well whenever you want they are a quick simple easy and cheesy way to basically nuke your way through the entire game the only catch to it being particularly with the builds that we are running is you do need seven attack decorations so you're going to need some absolutely lovely lovely luck on how to get those i think i'm near enough up to about 20 of them now so i wish i could give them out to people um but if you have any challenger or challenger decorations i'd be up for that um, i've got a few friends that are absolutely crying out for crit draw decorations so yeah i wish if there was a trading system in this game it would be amazing but here as I was saying with the whole cluster runs, as you can see here, the basic principle is run in, put the monster to sleep, put some bombs down, put your rock steady on and a health booster on the ground. This will help keep you at maximum health. And from there, you basically just sit and cluster. It does require a bit of a uh, micromanaging, as you can see. I'm, I've got little hotkeys with all my ammo and coatings and I'm constantly having to craft and recraft and craft a bit more just so that I can actually keep up with the old shooting them in the face but yeah it does make some pretty quick and effective work of just literally clustering the living crap out of a monster it is very very effective and it works very quickly it's also quite funny to watch because it really doesn't seem like you're doing that much and then you just start spamming bombs the Xenogiva spare shot is amazing for this, as you probably just saw at that point. I've fired off a random amount of clusters that I normally wouldn't have been able to do. This does generally really, really help, but it's also annoyingly RNG based, typically because if you don't get any of those spare shots, you only have about 13 cluster bombs you're able to fire. And then after that you're having to resort to stickies, which is kind of nice. They do obviously really really help with the old KO, but you're built for clusters. So you, you should be really using clusters. Anyway, like I said, everything is clusterable. Is able to be clustered. Clusterable sounds like a really weird word, wouldn't you say? But still, when you don't have your rock steady and healing fountain thing down you are very very vulnerable because when you have when you are in your mortar position for clusters you can't utilize a shield you might have noticed there that i am at a previous point i was able to block something quickly just by coming out of the mortar position but generally speaking this is a very vulnerable position anyway thank you very much for watching have fun, good luck, and don't die. It's bad for the health. And yeah, see you pretty darn soon.